Hey there, Max here from MaxHarlan.com. I'm an emotional health coach, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you why online school and working remotely is so stressful, and also what you can do to fix it. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, I wanna give you my free three-day stress reduction video course. It's three videos over three days sent directly to your inbox, and they're really short. They're like five or 10 minutes, so you can watch them over a lunch break or a bathroom break or whatever. But these videos will help you significantly reduce stress, see results immediately, and best of all, they're free. So if you're interested in that, you can find them at maxharlan.com forward slash stressless, and I'll put that down in the show notes so you don't have to type it in. So I totally know where you're coming from if you've been stressed out about online school and working remotely because that's how I used to work, especially at the beginning of this whole lockdown pandemic thing that's going on right now. And I've been checking out some studies on this and apparently up to 84% of students are finding it demotivating and stressful to work and to do their studies at home. <laughs> that's so many people. So just as I mentioned in the last video in this series on stress management, um, screen time is a huge factor in creating stress and making people miserable. So if you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. I'll link it somewhere on this page. But as far as making working from home or studying from home more manageable, here are my four tips. Number one is you've got to minimize distractions. One of the reasons why studying from home or working from home is so insanely stressful is you get interrupted constantly by siblings, by your mom and dad, you know, by your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. And these interruptions, they add up, you know, they make it so that it takes longer to do everything. And since your workload is the same, well, now it's going to feel like you have more work because everything's so inefficient. What you can do about this is literally put a sign on your door that says busy. Have a conversation with these people that keep interrupting you and say, look, I'm busy from... <laughs> hey, babe. But literally slap up a sign if you need to. I mean, I've got one on my door and slap up a sign that says where you're at and have that conversation with people of what hours you're busy, of what hours you're gonna be busy with schoolwork or busy with your homework. And then that way you can make sure that you keep that time protected and you get super efficient, which will make the stress reduced dramatically. Also, you know, even if you don't have a room to yourself, you can just put your earbuds in, ignore the whole world, and those earbuds send a signal to people around you to leave you alone. Not that necessarily they'll honor that signal, but it does send a signal, right? My second tip is find some intrinsic meaning in the work that you're doing or in the studies that you're doing. You know, at times like these where the world's all in chaos, it seems like going to work or going to school is meaningless. You know, at least work pays the bills, but studying seems pointless. And so in a position like that, like when you're in a moment like that, the thing to do is find out how you can get motivated about whatever it is you're doing inside yourself. You know, maybe you can go to work harder or go to school harder just to build in yourself work ethic and say, I'm gonna build work ethic. I'm gonna build discipline. I'm going to be proud of being able to get better faster than my coworkers or my student or my, you know, my classmates. I'm gonna try to be top of the heap or whatever it is, whatever gets you going. Or you know maybe it's the lady that you serve coffee to in the morning. Whatever gets you excited about your job or about your classes that is intrinsic and not you know, outcome oriented. That's the thing that you've got to focus on when life is stressful and when life is meaningless. <laughs> My third tip for not being so stressed out from studying and working at home is get on a very specific routine. You know, one of the big things that happens is when our routines break down because the world is in chaos, it's easy to get really inefficient and not to eat. You know, just to really let our routine slip. And when you're not eating, your blood sugar is erratic, you're out of energy, you're hangry, you're emotional. When your routines are slipping, you're not effective, you're not efficient. And so that, again, adds to the stress. So lock in at a time. You know, if you're a student, and let's say you're like 15 watching this video, figure out exactly what your old daily routine used to be at school and just pretend like you're in school. Have breakfast and have lunch at the same times. Take the recesses at the same time as you used to if you can. But the big thing is lock in a routine. And my last tip from working from home is get face to face with your actual friends. You know, whether it's working from home or going to school from home, the big thing is we've all been robbed at this moment right now 
of face-to-face -face social interaction. And you know, practice whatever safety measures you feel are appropriate, but the big thing is, a huge thing that buttresses us and protects us and armors us against stress as human beings is our social circle. And when you don't see people face to face, it makes us panic at a deep evolutionary level. We get scared, we go, oh man, I'm socially isolated, that's terrifying. You know, that was the worst thing that could have ever happened to our ancestors. And yet many of us are living that reality today and our genetics haven't gotten updated to realize that you can be isolated and be safe. So get face to face, keep your social circle alive, and that will help you get armored and protected against the very real stresses in the world. Hey, I hope these four tips were super helpful and I hope that they help you reduce stress from working and studying at home and also get more done because those things are very closely related. If you haven't already, go check out my free three-day stress management video course. It's linked down in the show notes below, but I do think that these three 10-minute videos sent to your inbox daily will drastically reduce your stress and they'll get you an immediate quick win. If you have any questions about the techniques that we talked about today or anything stress-related and stress management related, please leave a comment or a question down below. I'm definitely gonna get to every single comment and question in the first month, and I'll try and get to as many as I possibly can. In the next video in this stress management series, I'm gonna cover optimism and how to cultivate optimism, how to handle being optimistic in the face of massive adversity in the world, and why it's so key to not being burnt out and stressed out. So if you're interested in that, there should be a link somewhere on this page, and I'll see you in that next video.